Hello YouTube, this is Ron from Wilmington, Delaware. Today I'm making a video to show you how simple it is to set up a level control system to top off the sump in your, for your aquarium. I'm using a high door smart level control. Picture of the box right here. Also shows a picture of the sensor on the bottom right corner of the box that's used to uh, control the level of the water in the sump. There's three points on the, on the control. Controller, the bottom two are the differential for your water. The top one is an alarm that shuts the system off if the water gets too high. Let me show you the unit itself. It's mounted to the side of my aquarium cabinet. It's got, it's got three cables underneath it. Uh, center cable is the cable you plug your pump into to pump water into your sump from your bucket. The left cable is your sensor cable or wire that goes into your sump at the level you want your water to be. And the right cable is, also, is the uh, cable that goes into your power supply, into your outlet. It's 110 volt. That powers up the system. The unit has a couple of blue lights on it, the max and min light. It shows you that right now that the unit is, the water is topped off. If the max light goes off, just a min light will go on and very soon after that, the water, the pump will turn on and refill the, uh, the sump to right to the right level. So let me show you how the system works and I'll be right back here. Here's a picture of the uh, controller that's in the sump. It's got three little uh, sensors on the left hand side sticking out. The bottom two sensors are your differential for your water level, max and min. And the top sensor is if the water gets to that point, is the alarm sensor. If the water gets up that high, it will shut off the system completely and your pump will stop, stop pumping and you can't get any more water into it. So it won't flood your sump and put water on your floor. Pretty simple, pretty nifty system, and it's uh, so far it works great. Moving over to the right a little bit here, uh, you can see there's a valve with a blue handle on it. I'm getting water uh, to the system from an, a reverse osmosis deionization system that I have out in my shed. It, uh, precludes me from having to get water from a uh, aquarium shop that has zero uh, total dissolved solids in it. This makes it the water with zero TDS uh, and uh, there's no bucketing involved. So the water comes into this valve, goes out, goes into the tank, uh, the bucket I should say, and the, through that, through where it goes in there, there's a float valve on the other side, which is which controls how much water goes into the bucket. And uh, once the water level gets up to nine inches, the float valve lifts up, shuts off the water flow going in, and it stays there until it's needed. When it's needed, the pump starts up. It pumps the desired amount of water into the sump. When that stops, the uh, float goes down and the water gets replenished into the bucket automatically. It's a pretty, pretty fail-safe system because these, I've never seen one of these uh, float valves fail. Uh, and I've had one installed in tanks outside for like five years now. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy with the, the way this is turning out. And uh, so far it works pretty good. Another feature that I have in the bucket is I have an overflow uh, tap that I put in the back. You can probably see it on the top up there. It's, a, it's sticking out. Uh, if the water ever does uh, get that high because of the seepage of the 
flow valve, then I, the water will just go right into that hole. And uh, on the other side of that hole is a quarter inch tubing, goes right through the floor. And down below underneath the floor is a dirt crawl space. And any overflow water would go into a dirt crawl space down there. And there's nothing uh, to get hurt by it. Perfect system. Let me show you my sump and how that's set up. Got some light on it here. Um, here I have a Reef Octopus protein skimmer, which does a great, great job. It's set up for, it's actually a 200 gallon, for, it's set up for a 100, 200 gallon tank. This is, I'm only using a 150 gallon tank here. Um, I have an 1800 gallon per hour uh, pump that's tied into a dual dual flow uh, aquarium, left and right. There's one. There's a flow left and right, and uh, that works very very well. In the back, I have a a Max Max Reef uh, GFO canister has about three and three quarter cups of GFO in it. Uh, feeds into this sock sock right here, and the uh, sock is uh, a filter. Filters out any uh, any uh, pieces of GFO that might get into there, and it's really uh, keeps the uh, aquarium of that troublesome uh, material. Uh, let me show you the aquarium itself. Just bear with me for a second. This is the 150 gallon aquarium, the corals, reef, uh, it's a reef setup. We just installed some new lights above the, uh, the aquarium. These are razors. I think they're number 425. They're 16 Ks. They have three pods in them. They're LEDs. And the way they're set up right now, they're probably around three quarter power. So I could add a lot more light to this tank if I needed it, but we, we don't want to burn our corals that are in here. Um, so we're taking it slow. As you can see, everything is very healthy. There's plenty of coralline algae gr growing. Um, the tank is uh, doing well. It's been doing well for five years. Now these razor fixtures, they're not cheap, but they do do the job very well. We're very, very happy with them. If you get, get a chance to use LEDs, just do it. You'll be very glad you did. So that's it folks, if you want to send me some comments to my YouTube uh, site, uh, feel free to do so. I'm always open to su suggestions and uh, I like to get help if I can. Uh, so, or if you want to subscribe to my YouTube account, go ahead. Another thing is I have another uh, aquarium video there on my channel of the old light fixture that was on there. It was an Aquatic Life 12 tube, six on each side, T5 light fixture that was, uh, it shows night and day this, between this and the old one. So take a look and you'll be amazed. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, uh, so hopefully I'll make another video soon. Bye-bye.